thing this evening, so girls, if you come, or ladies, if y'all come, we're going to have them sing, and Miss Kayla, we're going to have them sing this evening, and uh, we'll see what the Lord does. Good morning, huh? I'm thankful. Uh, so this morning we had a in Savannah. I don't know if you were paying attention to the news or on Facebook or whatever. They had an active shooter situation in Savannah this morning, and to come to find out, I mean, they had the SWAT team and they had all kinds. Of, I mean, they had everything. I mean, I got ran off the road like four or five times by cops, and it was it was crazy. Come to find out, it was some kid making prank phone calls across the entire entire city, and I, and I, and I thought to myself, man. He has no idea what he's just done to her. He or she has just done to themselves. Like, you know, they don't realize that it's star 67 for a prank phone call. You're dealing with a government agency. And, and, and I just thought, I was like, I'm thankful that they didn't have that uh, an active shooter. But, uh, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, what in the world have we come to where if I um, think it's just okay just to do crazy stuff like that? And, uh, you know, my generation and generations after me is just different. And uh, just uh, I'm thankful that I've got a place to come that uh, reminds me of what I really am and, uh, and, 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 and what I am and, and who I serve. And so this evening, um, we're going to have y'all ready.
Uh, you can be dismissed to go to Super Church. Amen. Tonight, I feel like the most important thing is to read your Bible each and every day. 
Amen. And one of the reasons is because uh, uh, the Bible is called the book of life. And whenever I do read my Bible, even though I struggle with it each and every day, and when I read my Bible, I feel better and I actually learn more. God speaks to me while reading his word and I start to realize things, especially when I read through the lives of each and every person sure. that is talked about in this in this in the Amen. Bible. And uh, 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 like for example, today uh, if one of the guys that work with me, he can tell every time I go to, I go to preach. Because you know, uh, like this morning, he's like, you know, what's wrong? You've been quiet all day. I was like, man, I've just been focused. He's like, you're preaching tonight, aren't you? I said, yeah, I am. He's like, I can tell every single time. He always likes to ask me what I'm preaching him, and I told him, and he was like, you know, and um, he's like, reading your Bible that, that helps. I said, yeah, you know, I've been reading. Through, um, I'm at the book of John right now, and I said I've been reading through their lives, and I feel like what I've learned from reading them is that all of them tell their life story. They all tell about what they went through, what they've seen, and I feel like what it speaks to me is just from seeing all that as a preacher, and especially as a young preacher trying to learn, I feel like that's one thing that as a preacher maybe I should do as far as in my ministry is, is to preach about what I go through and use it as illustrations and, and what God takes me through and what God teaches me and shows me through sure. all life circumstances that I learn and have to go through. And, you know, and so I feel like reading your Bible is very important when it comes to showing you things and teaching you. And, and, it, and it's supposed to do it each and every day, even though it's hard. I've been waking up early, 5 o'clock in the morning before I go to work and I read my Bible and pray and then, you're ready to go to work, and, and, it, and it's, it, it is very tough, Amen. but I've learned that that's when I like it the most, because one other thing as far as reading your Bible is you have to find a time that's good for you. Right. You know, I've tried doing it in the evening times, but I just get so tired from working all day, it's even harder for me to do, but I've just found that reading my Bible each and every morning seems to help me a lot more, and especially throughout my day when it gives me that mindset in it. It kind of gives me a peace of mind and renews my mind each and every morning when I go to take on the, the conquerors of this life that right. we have to face each and every day, all the battles that we have to go through and all the, the stuff, and, and you know, and it, and it just gives me a different perspective about things in life. So the first thing I want, that was the first thing is, is reading your Bible. The second thing that I feel like is very most important in your, uh, to do to live for God is prayer. Praying is a is a basically a connection for you to talk to God, Amen. and I feel like you know we're supposed to talk to God, and have a relationship with God. That's the part of being a Christian. See, Christianity is not a religion; it's a relationship. Amen. And a lot of people get that wrong sometimes, and people don't understand that our our Christianity is not it's not just religion; it's actually a relationship with someone way higher and above us. And prayer is a good thing because not only. You just get to talk to God, but you get to take each and every problem to Him, and and He will help you and guide you and lead you in whatever direction that He needs to to help you out. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that I found is it also helps better uh, your mood and how you feel after sure. prayer. I always feel yeah. better after I pray all the time because Amen. basically what I'm doing is I'm going to God, getting on getting on my knees, and I'm taking everything, all the frustrations and everything off right. my chest and pouring it out to him and bring it to him and telling God, this is what I've got going on, this is what I need help with, and this is what I'm struggling with. And and like I told him as I was, you know, studying, praying about this message, trying to give the message, I said, God, I can't, I can't do any of this without you. I've tried doing all this stuff without you, but God, just help me. And just that pure feeling of just getting all that off my shoulders and just giving it all to God and talking to Him about it just makes me feel all a lot better and helps me be ready to go throughout my day, each and every day. And and, and with that being said, it just also helps uh, with overcoming the difficulties in life. Uh, you know, one thing that I found in prayer is that, you know, I can I can talk to God about anything and everything. No matter what I'm going through, yeah, I can talk to God because He knows the answer and the solution to it. Yeah, and that's the thing that helps me is because I'm the type of person that no matter what problem comes on way, I have to face that challenge and I have to be the one to find that solution. And I'm trying to learn that that's not the case. That if I would just learn to just go and take God each and every day, no matter how hard it is, no matter how much I want to do, no matter how much I want to try to fix the problem or the situation that I've got to learn just to let God take care of it all yeah. and to just trust in Him by just talking to Him and giving it all to Him. Right. <clears throat> um, so secondly is prayer. The third thing I want to talk about is going to church. Going to church is very good and it's one thing you should do and try to attend every single service. 
because it helps you, it helps your spirituality, especially being with other believers. Uh, being around other believers, it, it helps um, boost your spirits, it helps go along, and I've always heard, you know, the more the better. And that's just, that's really true, that's how it is, you know, and I just like it, and especially like I, I tell my wife all the time, uh, like I got Torah. I like I like I like when revival's coming. I like revival. There's more people and it just it just feels different. I like the feeling of it. I like the feeling of all that stuff. And like I was telling her, you know, last revival we had um um what was his name? <laughs> I was pretty well. Speaking of him, I enjoyed I got invited to go to lunch with him and I just enjoyed being around him and the preacher and Aaron. And I just because it's something that I don't do often, but just being around them had a presence that made me just feel so much more better, so much more, more good. And, and another thing that also church helps is it helps give us guidance. You know, uh, yeah. last Sunday a preacher got up and preached, and uh, man, I, it was a great message to give, but it, it hit me right in the chest, man. And, and that that's what I, I like about coming to churches is, is it's not, it, it, you know, and it's not every time that it's going to be that way, but a lot of times it is going to be that way, and it, yeah. and it, it gives me guidance in my life, and it helps me, and it, it makes me understand and what I got to do each and every day, and, and sure. shows me how I need to live each and every day of my life. <clears throat> but tonight, that's that's what I've been going through. This is what I've been struggling with, as much as I hate to admit it. But it's the truth. And being a young preacher, I'm trying to understand all of this. I'm trying to figure out how to be a preacher, and. And it, it's hard to do, and Amen. without having these three essential things in my life, it's just not going to happen. Yeah. Right. And that's why I tell my wife all the time, and this, this is a, another example, it, uh, I am a 15 to 40 minute preacher. I don't preach long at all, and I hate it. I hate it. I really do. And the problem is, is because, to be honest with you, I don't get in this book enough. I Honestly, I didn't start reading until a preacher said, hey, you're preaching on this day. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. yep, I need to start reading now. And <laughs> that's my problem. And I hate it. But what I'm coming to realize, even when I do read it, whenever I do make myself read, I fall in love with it more. Yes. And the more that I do pray, I fall in love with it more. And the more that I do come to church, I fall in love with the church more. And the more that I do all these things, I fall in love with God more. And I fall in love with what I do more. Sometimes I don't I don't want to get up here and do what I do, but the more I do it, I fall in love with it more. Amen. The more I love to give an opportunity to try to help somebody up here, right. don't help everybody. I get to help somebody maybe. Right. Even if it's just me. Even if it's me teaching it myself doing what I'm struggling through. I, I just get excited on what I get to be a part of and the way that he talks to me and shows me these things. It's just amazing what he does, especially, especially in my life. And just how he does things and how just just how he is and what I get to learn. And it's just good, especially like this morning. I didn't know what to preach. I didn't know what to preach. What we in church praying to God was in the music. He just comes in there and sits down. And I just, I just start squabbling. I don't know what to do, but I know it's him. And I know this is what he came to the church. Sure. Even though it, it may not be a help, help, but it's just what he does for me. And then I get through all of this, and I get the opportunity to be the person that he chose to do this. And, sorry, but I just... These three things are the most essential things that I've learned and I am learning to do. And the more that I do these three, th three things, the more I start to feel God's presence, the more He starts to talk to me, Amen. and the more yeah. better it gets. So tonight, I just wanted to share that with you. Tonight, I'm done. Dear Lord, just thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to preach your word. Just pray that you just help us bless the name of the church. Amen. 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 You enjoy that? You can preach and say that. Well, I will. I
I will tell you this, but Adrian doesn't get any easier. <laughs> That's encouraging. It, uh, <laughs> every single time you get up here, you ought to be nervous. If you care about something, you're going to be nervous. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, there's, I mean, that's just the way it is. If you care about something and you genuinely want to succeed and do well at it, yeah. when it comes time, you're going to get nervous. You can ask any great football player or soccer player or baseball player or whatever. When it comes time to play, play the game, you're going to get nervous. Amen. But through it all, I have found when it's hard to read the Bible, when it's hard to pray, when it's hard to serve some days, when it's, I don't want to get up and go to church, I found that the grace of God is what carries me. Amen. Amen. You know, I'll say this to you, Brother Adrian. Reading your Bible is like living life. Some days it's easy. Some days it's hard. Some days you don't want to. Some days you can't wait to, and you can't put it down. Right. And uh, the truth of the matter is, is that there's just some days that we just don't feel like doing, doing what, 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 we're, what we're called to do. It's not always easy to put a smile on your face and show up and, and, and try to give somebody else uh, preach, preach to hurting people as a hurting person. Amen. But I found that through it all, the grace of God is what is is what is what does it for each and every single one of us. Amen. It's not it's, it's it's at the end of the day, it's what it's what gets us all through. Amen. It's simply the grace of God. Yeah. We are not we are not designed to carry our own loads. We are designed to cast our own loads. And uh, the Lord told Paul. My grace is sufficient for thee, yes. and and that wasn't just for one thing. It wasn't just for uh, it, though he was talking about the thorn in the flesh. He was he was what he was saying was this that my grace is sufficient for all things. Yeah. Everything in life, it's enough. Amen. But with that said, being said, if you would, I'm gonna give you a quick thought, and and we're gonna get out of here. Colossians chapter number three. I want to read uh, two verses. And uh, we can go to the house. Colossians chapter number three. We're going to read verse verse number twenty three and twenty four. The Bible says, "And whatsoever you do, do it in, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men, knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve the Lord Christ." Let's pray. Do and follow. I want to thank you for being kind to the Lord. Thank you for mercy, grace, long suffering toward us. Thank you for uh, what we've already heard, dear Father God. Uh, Lord, it, what an encouragement it is to know that you're still working on, uh, still working on us, dear Father God. Lord, when we want to, you, you drive us to. Lord, we, we, when we when we want to, Lord, that you're you're always there to just show up and show out in our lives, dear Father God. Lord, I pray, dear Father God, that you touch us for just a few minutes. Lord, I pray that you hide behind the cross. Or did you give us the words to, to, to speak? Or did you keep us from saying anything that you wouldn't have us speak this, this morning? Or, or say, say this evening? Lord, we sure we love you. We thank you for it all. Just let me pray. Amen. In the world we live in today, it seems like everybody, it, it, it seems like, uh, and, 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 and I've just kind of been on this thought all day uh, from what, this, this, the, what happened this morning, but it seems that... Uh, that people we we we've lost who we've lost our minds. I'll just say it like that. And the truth is that it seems like everybody wants to be handed something. Nobody wants to go out and, and do something and try to earn try to earn 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 their their way. They they would rather just take a hand out because that's the easy thing to do. And I found that 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 there are days that that, that I get up and I go to work and, and I'll be honest with you, I don't want to do anything. <laughs> I just want to I just want to sit sit in my office and. And and, and, and and just sit there and I don't want to be bothered, I don't want to mess with nobody, I don't want nobody messing with me. I just want to be able to, to, to make it through the day and go to the house. And and, and, and it's not always easy uh, to, to do the or uh, obviously I can't do that, but there's there's some days that I just feel that way. Yeah. And, and 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 the truth of the matter is that is that uh, in verse twenty three the, the, uh, the Paul said this, he said, And whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to not and not unto men. I think many days that we that, that because we live in, in, in this world that there's there's days that we that we the reason we do things or the, or the reason that we don't do things is because we're we're afraid of what somebody or someone is going to say about what we did 
or did not do. Right. And uh, we, we, we oftentimes we forget as Christians that the reason that we do the things that we do is not so that uh, so not not so we don't get a lashing from the preacher or, or a lashing from our parents or or, or, or or a pat on the back from somebody. The reason that we do the things that we do is to please the Lord. And it's not. And there's some days. I'll be honest with you. Uh, a preacher has has always said said this in, uh, about about parenting, and uh, and it's always been one of those things that has been it has rang true in in, 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 in my life and uh, or in, in my in my mind. I shouldn't say my life, but in, in my mind, the, the truth of the matter is, I, I think about it often. And he, and he says this. He says what what uh, what what he says is uh, uh what you what you what you uh, what you, what you what you think. Is uh, is 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 as optional. Your kids will think is unnecessary. Right. And and I've always thought that. Uh, whenever he said that, it was one of those things that it was like it was like it wasn't for very profound. I mean, it, I mean, the truth is that we were all kids once, and there's some things that when we grew up, our, our parents they, they said they they, they were kind of lax on some things, and you know, now it's not really important to me today. But but uh, but I, now that I've got a little bit older, I've got kids. I've realized that that that. I don't want. I, I do things the, the way that I do them because I don't want my kids to think that it's okay not to do it 100. percent And the truth is that is that that, that mindset of, of of well I can do I'll, I'll give 80 percent reserve the 20 percent for for just in case I don't want you know I don't if, if it doesn't work out I don't want to be uh, left uh, left uh, uh, high and dry you know and, and so many and that that mindset has kind of creeped in the church and uh, Christians are in general they, they get nervous about. Giving that, giving everything to the Lord. You know, when we first got saved, what did we do? We we got saved, and everything. If it didn't, if if, if it didn't please the Lord, if it didn't, uh, if it didn't bring glory and honor to, to His name, you know, we what do we do? We cut everything off. Yeah. And then, and then what happened? That over time, as as things, uh, as life has had progressed, and and you know, it wasn't as real as it once was, and it wasn't as new and fresh as it once was. What happened? So Lord, I can handle that. Lord, I'll, I'll take care of that. Lord, I don't, you don't, I don't, I don't want you to worry about that. Lord, I'll take care of it. You know, and we started taking things back. We said, you know, and, and we, we we gave everything to the Lord, and over time we started giving things back or taking things back from Him, saying, you know, Lord, I, I've got this. I, I, don't, I, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to put you out, Lord. And I know you're busy, and I, you know, I know you got a lot of things going. So Lord, I'll just handle that. I'll just take care of that thing. And what do we do? We start putting the load back on ourselves. And it was, we were never designed to bear that, bear that load. But, but anyways, long story short, what happened? Whenever we started bearing the load, we stopped, we stopped giving everything that we had to the Lord. It was, it was Lord, I'm going to give you 80% of or 90%, but Lord, I've got to reserve that 10 or 15 or 20% just in case things don't work out the way that I think they should work out, Lord. So let's not go crazy. And, 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 what, and I was, as I was reading this, this, this text, I was just kind of thumbing through and, 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 and reading some things here and there. And, and, uh, and, and I began to, to I, I stopped and was reading this chapter. And, and, I, started, and I started looking at it and I, and I thought, man, how timely is it that, 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 that I would be reading this coming up in revival? And I thought this. More, more, more now than, than even uh, than, than, than normal. How much more should we be focusing on the things that we're, we're doing, the things that we're not doing, the things we should be paying attention to in our lives coming up on revival? Obviously, you realize that, that we're, we're two weeks out. The devil's going to start fighting a whole lot more, yeah. whether it be whether it be with our co-workers, whether it be with the person at the, at the store, whether it be our spouse. The truth of the matter is, is that the devil knows exactly what, the, what he needs to do to kind of get in the pee patch a little bit and yeah. mess it all up. And, and, and he knows exactly, and he knows the exact time to, to, to kind of try to sneak in. And so, with that being said, I want to say I want to say a few things about uh, doing it hard heartily. The, the heartily simply means this: from the heart, or with the heart, or with sincerity, with zeal, actively or vigor, vigorously, eagerly and freely. The truth of the matter is that is that uh, uh, that that. We ought to be doing. We ought to. We ought to be serving the Lord one hundred percent all the time. It's not. A, it, it's. It's some days. It's, it's hard. It, 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 it's. It's seemingly hard to to do the uh, lift of the Lord one hundred percent all the time. It seems like. It seems like I let the Lord. Uh, we let the world get in in in, in 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 our minds, and it creeps down into our hearts some days. And we let. The, we let uh, something that our wife, our spouse said, 
um, and, and, and let that uh, kind of we'll sit and dwell on it. And then you know, we, you know what they say with I don't know why people do this. They get in an argument with their spouse and say, "Well, I'm just not going to church." <laughs> why not? <laughs> and then what did the church do to you? The church didn't do nothing. <laughs> if your spouse is mad at you, then you know maybe you should just go to church. That's where you need to be, anyways. But anyways, we let, we'll, 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 let's get off that soapbox and move on. <laughs> move, move on. The, the truth of the matter is that we ought to be doing we, we ought to, we ought to be doing some things heartily in our in our lives. Number one. Our work. I'm not talking about our work for, for our jobs. I'm talking about our work when it comes to our, to, to our, our, our relationship with, with the Lord and our service to the Lord. The truth of the matter is that is that Brother Adrian, he, he said it right. There are some days that it's hard to read your Bible. Yeah. There are days that it's hard to, 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 to get in our prayer closets and pray. It's some, it seems like there's some days that the devil has every every thing for you to do. And, and when you get up, you, you, you finally get home or you finally get in bed and, you, and this is what you think. I didn't read my Bible today or I didn't pray today. And you say, well, I'll just do it tomorrow because I'm so wore out. I, I'll be honest with you, I, 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 just, just yesterday, I was, telling, I was telling Kayla, I had nothing to do with, 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 with serving the Lord or anything like that. She, she, wanted me to, uh, she, I, I, she wanted me to do something. I can't remember what it was. And, and, and this, is when I, this was my response. I was like, Kayla. When have I had time? I, I, I stayed so busy. When have I had time? And then I started, after I said it, I started thinking about what I just said. And I thought, and I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was thinking, I was, I was thinking about those things. We were riding down the road and, and, and we were, and I, we weren't in an argument or anything like that, but I started thinking about, I made the statement, I don't have time. And I started thinking about all the time that I could have made up for uh, doing things uh, that, or doing the, uh, but not doing things that I that I that I am doing, and and I, and, and whenever I started thinking about it, I started I, I said, well, I said I could have gotten that, that, whatever that was that she asked me to do. I could have got that done. I'm not. I, I mean, I'm busy. Don't get me wrong, but I ain't that busy. <coughs> and, and and I started thinking about that, and I was waiting. To be honest with you, I was waiting for her to. Well, what about you playing video games, or what about you doing this, or what about you doing that? I mean, honestly, I was waiting. I was waiting on, on her to say something, and, and uh, I was I was expecting her to say, that, you know, well, what about video games, and what about you know this, or what about that, and what about all these extra things that you do? And then I started thinking about it even more, and I was like, you know, all these things that, that all these extra things like video games and things like that that I do do. I, I mean, I'm not I'm, I'm not saying that, you know I don't do them. I started thinking about. I was like, well, "Well, I take this time, and I steal it. I steal it from myself, and ultimately, I'm stealing it from the Lord. I could be using this time to spend a little bit more time in, 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 in my prayer closet. Yeah. Be using that time to, to to read my Bible, maybe one more chapter. Right. I could you be using that time, and whenever I'm walking through Walmart, which I hate. But when I'm walking through Walmart and I, I walk past a lady and she just looks like she's having a bad day, she's got three head of young and falling behind her, uh, my wife, <laughs> and, 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 and stopping and witnessing to them. You know, what's, what's five minutes of my time? I'm so busy. And I started to think, really, take, take, take inventory of, of my life, really. And I am busy, don't get me wrong, but I'm not that busy to, to, to stop. You know, at the, I, I started thinking about this, and I was actually thinking about it just, just actually, this was last night we were having this conversation, and I began to think about it. I said, you know, I said, how many, I, I mean, how many opportunities is somebody taking to talk to that person? Yeah. Right. I mean, at the end of the day, how many, how, how many, how many people really have stopped and said, hey, you know, I'm from Lamar Baptist Church, and I know we live in Georgia, but I want to give you a track and 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 and. and you know, just invite you to church, and you know what's what's five minutes. You know, and I started thinking about that. I was like, I mean, I was I was telling somebody today we were we were talking about we were actually talking about work, and we were talking about investing into into he, he was he started a new business, and uh, and we were talking about investing into his business. And I said, man, I said that's your livelihood. What's twelve hundred dollars a year when it's when it's your livelihood? It's the, it's 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 a small investment for for your livelihood. And I began to think about that while I was riding over here because I knew what I, I, I had an idea of what I wanted to say this evening. And I started thinking about that. Well, what's five minutes in eternity? Right. You know, me taking five minutes of, of my time that I'm so short on, which I'm really not, and it might, it might change somebody's life. Yeah. And then I started thinking, and I said, well, what about my time that I read my Bible? What about the time that I, I, I pray? 
you know, you know, we set aside a certain amount of time, and you know, it, it many times if, if you're like me, you have a time limit that you that you, that, that you say, all right, well, I'm gonna read you know this many chapters, and then once I'm done, I'm gonna stop. And and we have you know we, in our minds, and I started thinking, I said, why why do I do that? I mean, it's not like I got anything else to do. Am I in such a rush to run off and do something else? You know, and I and be, begin to think, think about that. And this is what I thought. How, how many percentages of my heart am I really using whenever I say, this is the time I've got, Lord, and this is the time I'm going to give you. And, uh, and, and, and after that, we, we can't go any farther. And I began to, I began to think about that. I said, man, I said, I'm failing in that, in that department. And, 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 and am, I really, am I really doing it to, to, am I doing it because preacher said so? Or am I doing it because I love him? Amen. You know, you know, I, I you know, are, are not maybe not preacher, but preachers in general, or are, are you know, are, are Christians in general. And I say, do I read my Bible because because of, because of those people, what they think, or am I doing it because I love him? And I started, and I began to think about that. I want to do it heartily. I want to do it because I love him, not because you know I feel like I have to, not because I feel like you know. It, 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 if somebody's, you know, I don't want, I don't, I, I, I don't want to do it just, be, you know, because I'm gonna be browbeat if I can say it like that. And the truth is, is that nobody ever has ever really said anything to me. But you know, your friends and your family, when you talk, you know, that, that many times they, you know, say, hey, you, well, you might not do it, but you know, they say you, you, sometimes in conversation it might come up. You've been reading your Bible. You've been praying. I know whenever I talk to a certain person, one of my good friends, and you know, we'll, we'll be talking and say, hey man, you've been reading your Bible, you've been praying, you know, just talking to him, just kind of catching up, man, I don't talk to him as much as I used to. And, 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 and I just ask him, you know, ask him simple questions. It makes me start, start thinking about it. And, and I don't want to be that person that says, well, the reason I read my Bible, the reason I pray, the reason I set aside time, the reason I go to church, the reason I do all, uh, the reason I live the Christian life is not because of everybody else. Because of what the Lord did for me, right. and the reason that, that the reason that, that I get up and go to work, there is not because you know not because well the bill collectors are going to are going to show up and, at my door if I don't if I don't go to work and make a paycheck and, and, and pay them. No, it's because I love my family. Right. I want them to have the things that they've got, and so and and, 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 and so I get up and I go and do something that, that necessarily I, I I can think of a thousand other things to do okay. besides go to work. <laughs> And, and but I get up and I go because I I, I love my family yeah. and and I'm committed to to my family. Right. Well, the same is true for my Bible. The same is true for my relationship with the Lord. Is I don't want to do it just because I feel like I have to. I want to do it because I love to. Right. And uh, so there's some days that there's some days that it is like work. But it, it, but I've come I've come to realize that even on the hard days of work, I can still love I can still love to do what I do. And and so. I want to be able, I, I want, you know, the question I'm asking is, why do we do what we do? Is it because we're worried about somebody else? Is it, is it, is it, is it that or is it because we want to, we, 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 we honestly love the Lord? And, and I'm not jumping on you by no means. I just want you to think, you know, think, think about it. We, we all can at some point need to look in the mirror and say, why do I do what I do? Why do I, why do I, why do I go to church? Why do I go to that church? You know, why do you know? Why do I? Why do I read my Bible? Why do I pray? And, and the truth is, is that is that that's, there's there's days that that there's some days that you you know you as Paul said, I think myself happy. <laughs> you know, there's some days that they look in the mirror and say, man, we're gonna have a good day, <laughs> and, and, and we're gonna we're gonna it's gonna be a good day, knowing good and well that I do not feel like doing what I'm doing. Verse 22, it said this, it said, Servants, obey in all things your, your masters according to the, to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. There's some days, I'll be honest with you, the reason I do what I do, because I'm scared not to. <laughs> you know, but, you know, just be honest with you. But secondly, I want to do it heartily in my worship. I want to, whenever I show up, to hear, I'm in my prayer closet when I'm, I'm, I'm reading my Bible. I want to worship the Lord with a full heart. Yeah. I don't want it to be 
So, you know, I don't want to be manufactured and man-made. I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I'm stirring it up. I don't want to be, I don't want to be that person that you, I don't want to be, I don't want to be that Christian that, that puts on a show, sitting in my pews, you know, saying amen and doing all the things and trying to stir it up. I want it to be real. Right. Yeah, right. And the truth of the matter is, is that, is that you can have real. Yeah. It, it, it's not, it's not just, you know, I'm going to say amen and raise my hand because somebody else is doing it or because I know that this part of the song is a good song or is the good part and I should say amen and raise my hand. You know, I, I, there, there's, 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 I, I, I hate to, the, I hate that, that, that feel of we're just doing it because we're, we're supposed to. Right. I want it to be real. Yeah. I'm thankful that I go to a church that, yeah. that they can get up and sing and the Holy Ghost will show up and start and, and, and fill this place, and you see genuine tears, yeah. and you see you see people's hearts break, and they and they and, 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 and they go from a hard a hard heart. Maybe they've got they they've got a, a, you know a cold heart on the Lord, and they and they look at it, and they, they sit there and they say, well, I don't know why I don't know why so and so they're crying. I know what they did last week, or you know, or whatever the case may be. And the truth of the matter is, is that is that is that. You can you can sit there and you can watch it and you can listen and you can pay attention and you can see if you sit in the back row and, and you watch you can see you 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 can see people come in especially to where where I sit most of the time and you know, where I'm at most of the time I see I can see when you walk in the back door I can know if you're having a good day or you're not having a good day I just be honest with you we're all we're, we're all close and I can tell you might not think you might think that you're you're putting on a show and you, you've got everybody fooled. Well, the truth is that we can tell when it's good and when it ain't good. Amen. I mean, yeah. the, the truth of the matter is, and so whenever I can, whenever I, when I'm paying attention and I pay attention to it, whenever the Holy Ghost begins to show up and move, and I can watch as the Lord does something in, 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 their, in, their, in their hearts and, and in their lives, and they'll make their way to an altar, and they'll get up and they'll have a lot, a lot of tissues in their hands, their eyes are all puffed up, they're, they're bloodshot, and, and the Lord has done something in their in, in, in their in their lives, and they and they get up and go back to their pew, and they think this: Thank God that the Lord showed up. Thank God that the, the Lord has helped me. And they, they walk out the, the back door, and they're different. I'm not talking about salvation. I'm talking about after they're saved and they've, they've lived they've lived for the Lord, and they've went a few miles. And, and as, as a Christian, there's some days that it's not that it, and things just don't work out. Amen. I'll just be honest with you. There's some days that I come in. I sit in my pew, and you know what? I, the last thing I'm thinking, man, I want to praise the Lord today. <laughs> I'll just be honest with you. Yeah. There's some days that I, I, I honestly, I think if I can just get through the service and make it to the house, Amen. I'll be good to go. And, and the, the truth is that we've all had that that problem. Amen. But the truth Amen. is, but but with that being said, I don't want it to be that. Way. Yeah. I want it to be that whenever whenever they get up and sing, that the Lord can do something in my heart. Yeah. And, and the Lord can work in my heart. The Lord can melt my heart. And the Lord can can can. I I, I want it to be that that whenever I whenever I get here, I'm, I, I it, it is exciting and it's and it's and it's fresh and it's new. And and the Lord can do something in my heart. But the only way that I can get uh, I I can get to that point is if I'm doing the thing, doing the work that is necessary in my life to keep my heart and my mind in tune with the Lord. You know, it's always whenever you're getting closer to the Lord. It's always harder to stay close to the Lord, yeah. and it, you know, I said it. I said it on Sunday. You know, whenever you get to the mountaintop experience and everything is just go is, is, is peaches and roses in your life, it's whenever we start to slip away a little bit from the Lord because everything's going great and everything is so it's, it's so wonderful that we, we we you know we don't work as hard as we as we as we, we were whenever it wasn't you know right. uh, like it was like it is right now, and and and, and the truth is is that. The closer you get to the Lord, the closer you get to the devil, and it makes it that much harder to want to, to want to show up and worship the Lord. <laughs> I'll just be honest with you: the devil starts fighting, and 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 and, 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 and I'll be honest with you: there's days that I'm like, man, so if we, if we'll ever if we can just get through this, and we can just and we can get get to the house, we'll be doing good. And and and, and the truth is that I want my worship to be wholeheartedly. I want to, I want to, I want tears to flow. I want my heart to melt. I want I want to see uh, lost people get saved and, and prodigals come home and 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 and, and safe and save uh, doing well people get just a little bit closer to the Lord and, and and I realize that at the end of the day that if if I want to if I want to worship the Lord like I want to 
then it's gonna, then I'm going to have to work for the Lord like I'm supposed to. And it's not, and there's days it's not easy. But I know this: that if I'll do, if I'll do my part, He promised that He would do His. Right. And, and, and 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 there's days, and, and for me, that's what that's what it's worth. It. I don't always get up and, and shout and hoop and holler. I don't get up and, and, and scream and, and, and throw my hands up and, and do all the things. But that doesn't mean the Lord's not showing up in my, in my place. Right. That, and, and the truth is, is that I'm saying all that to say this. we got revival in two weeks. Be mindful of what's going on. Be mindful of, 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 of what's going on in your life. What, take inventory of what's going on in your life. Look in the mirror. How much time do we have? How much time, you know, how much time do I do I do I spend playing video games? <laughs> I mean, and, 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 and I say I say that just because it's you know it's an easy one and everybody, you know, video games are the devil. <laughs> but, but I mean I, I, the truth is is that is that you know what is the thing that is the, that is distracting in your life? Yeah. What is that thing, and, and how much time is of that thing? Are we are we absorbing of our time and taking it away from the Lord? Yeah. You know, and as we go in, as as we're going towards revival, you know, it's a good it's a good time to just check up and look and take inventory. Yeah. And uh, the more the, the the more that we that we pay attention, the more and and I say that I say that with with revival. Mind, but the truth is that. This isn't just a thing that we do twice a year come revival, trying to be as close to the Lord as we possibly can so that the Lord will show up and the Lord can bless us and the Lord can do something great. Maybe there's going to be tons of tons of uh, lost folk here. Maybe that's true. And we want, the, we want them to show up and we, want them to, and we want the Lord to do something in their heart and get saved. But the truth of the matter is, is that we ought to be doing this every day of our lives. Right. What, is, what, what is the thing that, that is robbing, uh, robbing the Lord of His glory and honor? And, and the truth is, is that I don't know what it is for you. But you probably know exactly what it is for you. Yeah. And, and the truth is, is that I, I could come up with a thousand reasons why I can't do something. Whenever I was in the military, they, we, we had this thing that we, that we, call, we called it. And uh, it was, it was we, call, we call it skating. And skating is, is simply how much work can I do to not be worked? Amen. I was a professional at it. I could I could figure out I could figure out all kinds of things to do so I wouldn't have to really work. I was good at it. And uh, what I and, and, and even in my marriage, there's some things that that I, I that I oh I don't have time for that. I got this going on. I got that going on. And I got this and that. And that. You know, and, and I've, I've come up with a thousand reasons why I should go on Saturday to this little vendor that my wife's doing. I've come up with all kinds of things. And the truth of the matter is, is that, is that, uh, is that it's funny, it's funny, but the truth is, is how many times have I done that with the Lord? Yeah, right. And I started thinking about that whenever we had this conversation. I said, when have I had time? And I started thinking about it. I was like, huh. And I really started taking inventory. And, and I, you know, I, I realized... I got a whole lot more time than I than I plan or than I plan or, or plan. I got a whole lot more time than I plan to have time. Right. Yeah. And and the truth is, is that I said all I have to say this. Are you doing Are you doing it just because you're supposed to? Or are you doing it because you want to? Yeah. Do you show up for church? Do you read your Bible? Do you pray because you love Him? Or are you because you just you just you're worried about what somebody's gonna say? And so this, this evening, I'm done. Um, we're going to pray, and, and we'll be dismissed. If you want to stand, we'll, we'll pray and be dismissed. Dear Father, we thank you for being kind to us, Lord. Lord, I pray that you take this uh, frail attempt of preaching. Lord, I pray that you bless the message. Lord, uh, thank you for what we heard from Brother Adrian. Lord, I pray that you uh, help us to apply to our lives, dear Father God. And Lord, to read our Bibles, to pray, dear Father God, to, 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 assemble, to not forsake the assemblings of, 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 of the church. Lord, I pray that you would... Help us, dear Father God, to show up when the doors are open. Lord, that you'd help us to, to, to pray every opportunity we get and read our Bibles every opportunity we got. Lord, I pray, dear Father God, that you would help us to get closer to you, dear Father God. Lord, 
in this world, it seems like it's, it's harder and harder and harder to get close to you, dear Father God. But Lord, uh, it, Lord, if, if we'll just uh, apply apply uh, apply ourselves and our time, Lord, to you, Lord, we'll see a humongous difference in our lives, dear Father God. Lord, I pray that you, you would uh, you would keep us safe as we travel, or that you bring us back to the next point of hour, Lord, and that we surely love you and thank you for it all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.